Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you for joining me. We're going to be playing Taito Ecology. Now, I've played Taito Ecology before. I actually have a playlist if you want to take a look. Uh, we played a biome, I think it was desert. Could have been rainforest. One of the two. But I am playing this because we are going to look at the Alaskan Tundra. This is so cool. I love icy biomes. Now, we've had, I believe, Great Plains, I think is... These are, I haven't played these. I played the Mojave Desert. I played, actually I played this one. I think this was a private game. I've not played Great Plains. I have not played the Himalayan Forest. And this is the newest one. This is actually a DLC. You can actually pick this up on Steam. I am very gracious to the developers for sending me this uh, DLC. They send me a, a CD key or they send me a Steam key. And I do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. They didn't have to do that. They just said, hey, Rick, try this out. Let me know what you think. And hey, why not? Because this game is awesome. I love it. I have so many games, guys and gals, that I want to play that I actually don't have enough time to do it. So I'm trying to cram as much as I can in there. So let's get right into it. Let's create a biome. Let's look at this. Precipitation is super low, only 20 centimeters, uh, I'm guessing a year. Temperature is zero. It is freezing here. But we still have animals that will appear and that will have fun and enjoy this. Now, I'm not looking to make a series on this. I may. I, it depends on your guys' feedback. So if you enjoy this, please leave a thumbs up right now and subscribe. And leave some feedback. Let me know what you think. All right. Before you begin building your ecosystem, you should give it a name. Ooh, this is always the best part. I'm going to call this the Polar... Oops. The Polar... Express. Yeah, I don't know why that even came to mind, but hey, it'll work. All right, so here we go. I am paused. How do I play? Okay, there we go. And so if you don't know, this game is very... Um, th this is a scientific-based game. Basically, you are a person who's creating a biome. You want to make everything... Look at this. Isn't this cool? You're in a controlled environment and you have to think about food chains and kind of start from the bottom and think about predators and, and plants and things like that and make the food chain so that these animals can survive and plants and so forth. So let's start with the bottom of the barrel here. So these are all new except for mushrooms. So let's see, caribou moss. Now the thing is we can't unlock these. We only have mushrooms available now. You can unlock these later by doing better and getting points and stuff. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to place mushrooms. Should I place them on? I think here's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to place them here. So now you will see them start to sprout and grow. And so that whole area, uh, can, can I show it again? Oh, I think that's fast forward. Okay, well, you see them, they're starting to pop up. So mushrooms are in a large, large area. Um, the controls, I think, have changed a little bit. Pause. Oh, wait. There's a whole zone. It's like a top-down view. That's what C. I'm just an X. Oh, X is the biodex. This tells you about all the animals. Really cool information too. So this is more of a relaxing kind of scientific game. Um, I like this. I I love biology in high school. So this is really cool. Okay, let's move the plant. So I only have this available. We're gonna be able to get more later on. So diamond leaf widow. Let's start over here. Willow. Let's start down over here. Now let's see if I could zoom into this stuff. There we go. Now you could zoom in really close, actually. Look at that. That is awesome. That's a beautiful plant. So you do spend points. I only have, oh, I have 100 now. So these, oh, weak sauce. You survived a week. Just 51 more of these type, and you might get an achievement. That's impressive. So I just got, this is power. I call this power, and this is Taito tokens, or just tokens. So this is like your currency, and then this is your energy, I guess you can say. So you can place as many of these as you'd like. Place. And there's no fish here yet. But if I want to place a few more, I can definitely do that. And I can place diamond leaf willows over here. And let me place maybe more on this side. Oh, sorry, I, I couldn't place them. I, I didn't know what was going on. So obviously you gotta place them in a valid area, right? So we place them there, and we're just gonna place a few in this general vicinity. And I'll show you what we're gonna do now. I wanna kinda start off with these animals. So 
Diamond Leaf Wolo. Oh, again. Gardening is fun. You'll need a lot to support Moose. 50 power and 15 tokens. Very cool. Awesome. So look, I'm back to full health, full power. So if you see when I use these, so let me use some of these. Oh, can't place it there. Let me place it up here. Cool. So I'm down to 75 and that will recharge automatically slowly. So if you use like four of these quickly, you'll be at zero and then it comes up. All right. So I can unlock these. So I can unlock these. I can unlock animals. Let's see what animals we have. Arctic ground squirrel. Ooh. Now here's the thing. Let's look at what these things eat. Arctic squirrels. Let's go animals. There we go. So it says these guys eat plants, invertebrates, eggs, birds, carrion, which is dead animals. I think it's dead animals, I believe. Uh, but there's a glossary too. And yep, bodies of dead animals. There we go. So this is really, really cool and really helpful. Uh, let me go back. Okay, don't want to go there. Oh, species, there we go. Predators, okay, so rodents and so forth. But they like plants. And sometimes they'll even tell you exactly what they like. Let's see. It doesn't really say. It just kind of gives us a general idea. So they should be okay right here. So maybe let's place some of these squirrels here. All right. Let's click on animal. Arctic ground squirrel. And, oh. Let me place them. Okay. So this whole area, this whole circle, they won't have it this whole area, if that makes sense. So we'll place them. And there we go, they're super tiny. And they just kind of plunk in and they, yes, they will reproduce and get hungry and so forth. There, right here, one year, zero weeks old. You've earned three title points, yay. So apparently I get a diversity score and the health is good, it's at 100%, of course. Now we can add more, 50 and 30, perfect. So we're doing pretty good, we can definitely unlock something. Now. Here's my question. So these guys eat like plants and stuff. Oh, the bumblebee. Let's just see what animals there are. The lynx. Now you have to balance the ecosystem. You can't just say, okay, I'm going to put a wolf in there. Like you can, but you have to be careful because obviously the wolves will eat probably some of these badgers. Or are they badgers? Squirrels, sorry. And so forth. And you have to really think what you're doing here. So you have to get the whole cycle going. So let's look at these lemmings bumblebees okay i'm gonna get bumblebees you might think what why are you doing that well let me tell you why okay no can I, okay there we go so these bumblebees I'm trying to see they're under animals right might be over here there we go now you might ask what are these bumblebees well what they actually do is pollinate and so there we go so we're gonna place them and here is a honeybee, what is it, mound or hive? And what they'll do, they'll pollinate. So whatever plants and animal, whatever plants we have, they'll go to them and then we'll see them multiply, which is really, really good. Okay, cotton grass. Now we can actually go and see what cotton grass is for. Okay. What animals? insulate animals nest so this is actually good we want that that would probably be good for the squirrels so let's unlock that and you can actually see here this is all pretty much fruit uh, leaf no fruit and then if you need animals that need fruit or you got to look for them like these the bear berry and so forth so you gotta kind of think this looks like it's easy and I'm not gonna say it's easy or it's hard it's just you have to be smart okay which doesn't always happen with me. All right. So I'm going to expand. It seems like I got to expand a little bit. Controls, I think, have changed. Or I'm not used to them. So let's add some there. Add some over here. I apologize for sometimes the camera being weird. I would love to rotate. Oh, is that how I rotate? Okay, with right mouse. Hold right mouse. We might need a few more little lemmings here. But are these guys eating? Are they hungry at all? Well, they're hungry. Well, they're omnivores, so let's go back to these guys. Here we go. They eat plants, invertebrates, so that would be animals without a backbone, eggs, birds, and carrion. So are there any eggs or birds or anything remotely like that? Invertebrates. 
So we don't really see many invertebrates, which is a kind of a shame. So I think they'll have to do with plants now. What is this, a lichen? Okay, so it seems like a lichen, I guess, is a decomposer. Interesting. Now what are these field horsetail? Let's look at these guys. Field horsetail, where are you now? This is a really relaxing game. I can't find it though, field, there we go. Oh, so moose like this horsetail stuff. Ah, gotcha. We have no moose yet. No moose, no meese, nothing like that. Well, these guys are sleeping, they look okay. They do look hungry, which does worry me a little bit. It does worry me. So we gotta figure out what these guys need to eat. So I'm guessing they want something with a fruit, right? Like this, but we don't have enough points. Oh, there we go. Cool. I just got four more points there. I do want to see if we can add some type of animal that they can eat. They're omnivores, so they do eat meat. Now, do they eat lemmings? Now, we can figure that out. Go over here. Look for a lemming. Diet predators. Foxes, weasels, owls, and birds of prey. Now, I don't think that birds are available to purchase. Maybe at least not now, maybe later on. Arctic ground. Oh, look, snowflake. That is so cool. Remember, this is cold. This is cold, cold stuff. So we're gonna have to see if we can maybe unlock something else. Leaf, leaf. Let's unlock this, more plants. More variety of plants to give these guys some opportunities to eat. Remember, with our little friends, the pollinators, the bees, they will definitely multiply stuff for us. So that is good. So you see how my power is running down because I'm using a lot of that. Very, very cool. Zone is locked. Zone is locked. Let's, let's, let's look at some of these guys. So I can close that up and take a look. Hello, look at you. You're so cute. Oh, look, see? Their hunger was at like 60 something. Oh, this guy's was at 60. Okay, well, dude, I got plants for you. I got lots of stuff. Will you start eating? You should start eating. Oh, hopefully they'll come over here. Till pollination is needed. Doesn't seem like, oh, is he eating? Hey, buddy. Oh, went to sleep. <gasps> Oh, but look, hunger's replenished. Look at that, 97, 96%. Okay, so we gotta make sure these guys, their hunger's, oh, he's at 100. Yeah, so they eat these things. They eat the field horsetail. That is awesome. So these guys should all be good. Look, they're all their hunger's replenished. You see that? That is awesome. We need a fantastic job. Good job, guys and gals. All right. These pollinators doing their job. Look at that, biodex. And it gives you their diet and predators. That's really cool. Oh, I love it. Now you can see why this game could be addicting. Now here's what's interesting. Let's say I'm done with the video and I play this two days later. Time will pass in the game. And so your animals will multiply or they'll die and stuff. So it's nothing to be scared of, but time will pass. It's kind of cool. Like the counter will keep ticking. Look at that. So cute. We might add more of these guys. We don't want to overpopulate. So I think one more little group of these guys might be cool now these guys have a big large area so hold on let's see where these see these guys encounter this whole area so see that's a problem you don't want to do something like make too many see what I mean so you don't want to overpopulate make too many of these guys like maybe you can make a little area over here so actually we might do that let's bring these guys over here there we go and so we'll get them on this side of everything again sorry about the camera I'm still trying to get adjusted to how this works okay all right so there you go you got to use that mouse button okay all right so let's place these guys so obviously these guys are gonna be hungry so let's give them some of this horsetail they seem to really like it and I think we're gonna place some more bees on this side. Okay, we have to make sure that our power or energy increases there. We're down to 26, so that'll slowly go up. And let's see if, well, the mushrooms, we can go back over here. The mushrooms don't cover this area, so that's super important. So let's 
get some more of these mushrooms there we go that's perfect so mushrooms will be in that area and we have to be careful place more of these plants and I think we're gonna place some bees once we get points and we're not there yet so we need 30 points how are these all doing these guys seem to be doing well now there's a point where if you're not careful these guys will get out of control and they're just populate like crazy like if they're rabbits and so forth and then they can overtake everything so just be very aware of that okay let me come over here okay now we have enough points very cool so oh thank you thank you for the six six tokens all right no additional all right so let's put some bees over here the bees will basically extend all these plants in the correct area. So let's take this out. Oh wait, what's that? Oh, oh I didn't know that. Okay, so the UI has changed a little bit, or at least from what I remember. You have your zones here, and you see your detritus level. You gotta make sure that stays low. That's your dead animals and plants. Everything looks cool. Everything looks great. My global status. Okay, I don't know what that means. My achievements. Definitely got some here. Place five animal territories. That's cool. Oh, wow. So this could be really helpful to get more points. Place three producers in the rainforest and you get points and so forth. So that's really, really nice that we have that. Look at this. We have mushrooms. Herbivores eat this. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know they eat them. I thought they were just there to decompose stuff. Well, these guys are hungry, so hopefully they'll come over here. Eat some of this stuff. Oh, is he eating? Because remember, he was low. Oh, there we go. So these guys love this stuff. So let's place a few more plants before we are done. Yes, time is slowly ticking by. We're almost done with this episode, guys and gals. I do thank you for your awesome support throughout my channel and just your love. It's, it's really overwhelming, and honestly, it is very much appreciated. So let me get this here. And just get these kind of close to these bees and our bees will happily multiply these in time and we have two little two little areas very cool two little sections here very nice very cute all right guys and gals let me know what you think down below I would really love to hear I do appreciate like I said your love and just your support I will see you guys and gals next time don't forget to always stay positive always better yourself and most importantly be hopeful <laughs>